university gave me the balls to go, well, I can do anything. I mean, there was a certain sense at La Trobe that you can do anything. They were the best three years of my life, without a doubt. Hi, my name's Jane Gazzo. I'm a radio broadcaster, a TV host and a music journalist. And I graduated in the class of 94 here at La Trobe University. I love just the diverse range of people that were here. It was a real slice of the real world, I guess you could say. There was one boy we used to call Storm Boy and he had, he had hair up like here. There was a couple of Polish guys that were pretty hot too, I remember. I knew I wanted to get into music slash radio broadcasting. That was my passion as a year 11 and 12 student. And then coming to La Trobe University where, you know, it's just like you get to study media you know, every day of the week. And I was able to go to Triple R as a, as a 17, 18 year old and uh, start some of their radio production courses. Before long, I had my own, own radio show. In fact, I think I had my own radio show before I graduated here at La Trobe. My favourite lecturer, you could tell he loved what he did and that really resonated with the rest of the class. And I've never forgotten him. I would love to see him again and just say thank you because I just, yeah, I'm gonna get all emotional now. <laughs> he was a great teacher. I was on Triple J on national radio. I was had been on national TV with a show called Recovery on the ABC. But there was something in me that said if I didn't go to London and go and pursue this passion for broadcasting and, and go to the capital city of, of some of the greatest British bands ever, um, you know, I would never do it. Being Australian really worked against me in London, but being female and Australian was a double whammy. I was inter interviewed at Broadcasting House in Oxford Circus and the interview wasn't going that well and he said, do you have a university degree? And I went, actually I do, I've got a Bachelor of Arts from La Trobe in Melbourne. And I just remember the interview, just, everything changed, it was like the sun came out. And uh, he said, you, you start on Monday. But I truly believe if I hadn't have had that uh, the BA from La Trobe, there is no way they would have let me in. And it was, it was my passport into working for an incredible organisation. Who knew you could make a living out of talking about music videos? <laughs>